Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode three of Suck Up. The people and I are back out here to bamboozle some more of the random civilians in this game and suck down their blood nasty. I'm, in this episode, going to let the people pick a storyline, the first storyline that I open with, and then I'm going to try and save it after they undoubtedly try to kill my dumb ass. Let's see how this goes. Let's begin. Somebody give me a storyline, Bo. <laughs> Somebody give me a, the first storyline for this. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, bitch. Okay, fuck. Okay, the ops got on me immediately. The ops got on me immediately. Shit. He put on my hat. He put on my shit. Wait, gang. He's got on my shit. Do you see that? <laughs> the cop. He's got on my shit. Well, he's wearing my fit. Well, he's got on my fit. That's insane. I was, I was really looking to do a storyline with that, but I can't. That's Loki bonkers. Handheld radar. You're running away from your ex and need a safe place to make a phone call. Hold on. Here we go. I don't know who this is. This one gonna be tough. <laughs> oh, okay. This one gonna be tough. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I'm currently running for my ex girlfriend. She's trying to kill me. I need a place to make a phone call. Can you please help me? Hello, hello. Let me try it. Let me try it again. Hold on. The hell, the hell? Hello there. Welcome to my humble abode. What brings you here this hour, dearie? Can I help you with anything? Oh, Carol, I would really use. Oh, fuck. Shit. God damn it, bitch. Shit. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I really, really, really need some help. I'm currently running for my ex-girlfriend and I need to make a phone call. Can you please let me come in? Oh dear, I'm so sorry to hear about your troubles, but I can't let you come in right now. It's not safe to let strangers in your home. I... Uh-oh. Okay, this, 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 this little radar detecting bullshit gonna get me f***ed. Okay. Okay, this, this storyline's a little difficult for me. Time to change fits. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. Let me try some trolls here real quick. Oh my goodness. Who are you, sweetheart? You're wearing such a fun outfit. What brings you to this late hour? Is there something I can help you with? Yes, I'm trying to cook a cake. It's me, Mario. Can you help? Oh, Mario, nice to meet you. I love baking cakes. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to help you. What kind of cake are you making? Oh, it's a gunpowder cake filled with explosives and other diabolical material like TNT. Would you like to help? Oh my gosh, that's my favorite kind of cake. What a surprise. Can I help you? Yes, hello. My name is Chef Dami, and I'm trying to make a cake. I was hoping you could help me. Well, Chef Dami, making a cake can be quite a task. What do you need help with? I need somebody to help me bake the whole cake as well as assemble the ingredients. Uh, would you be willing to help? Oh, well, I'd be delighted to help Chef Tommy. Come on in and let's get started on that cake. Be careful with that grenade in your hand. Put it somewhere safe, okay? <laughs> he invited me in with the grenade in my hand. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. Wait, I, can't, I can't fight this guy. There we go. I cannot believe that. This is the worst. Oh, this is worse than a dad joke. Okay, wait a minute. These guys just let you in no matter what it seems like. Okay, wait a minute. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go across to you and try something. Oh, bless my butter, soul, and biscuits. What incarnation have you got knocking on my door at this ungodly hour for, darling? Hey, Carol, did a guy named Mario just come by here a minute ago? Oh, oh bless your heart. Mario, you say I haven't seen Mario around these parts, darling. Is he in some kind of trouble? Yeah, he was wearing a chef's hat and came by my house. He said he stopped by here, too, and I just wanted to make sure you were safe. Uh... Well, I appreciate you looking out for me, honey, but I haven't seen anyone wearing a chef's hat around. Maybe Mario got mixed up. Bless his heart. Should I be worried about him? I think maybe we should be worried about him, and we might want to go out and look for him. Do you think that you would be able to help me search for him? I would, huh? Oh, goodness gracious. Of course I'll help you find Mario. We can't let him wander all alone, especially if he's lost. Let's grab some flashlights and go search for him, sweetheart. Oh, okay, she's easy as hell. Great, Carol. Let's get right to it. Do you have any flashlights? I don't have any. Come on. Oh, you sweet thing. Of course I have flashlights. Let me grab them for us and we can add out and find Mario together. But first, why don't you come in and have some warm apple pie? Say less. Come on now. Okay, this this lady way too easy to kill, Bo. <laughs> okay, this lady way too easy to kill, Bo. <laughs> My minivan's still running. Carol cares. Is that a taser? Oh, it is. Okay, if I can get into somebody's house holding a taser, I'm low-key going off. Okay, so we got we got, we just got a storyline coming in from the chat. I'm supposed to say my name is Funny, y'all. And here we go. <laughs> well, well, if it ain't a secret agent in a pink disguise, what brings you to my humble dojo at this ungodly hour? Hi, I'm so sorry to bother you. My name is Funny, y'all, and... I, as you know, I'm 12 years old. I just found this taser in the road. I, I'm trying to see what to do with it. I was, huh? <laughs> Why don't you let me take care of it and find a safe way to dispose of it? I would really appreciate if you could do that. I'm really scared having it. Uh, what do you think we should do with it? C can I give it to you and put it in your trash can? Uh -huh. My young friend, safety is of the utmost importance. I will take the taser off your hands and ensure it's properly disposed of. I have contacts who will deal in hazardous materials. Please hand it over. Oh, I would love to give it to you, but I think it's stuck to my hand. I was playing with Elmer's glue earlier, and now it's stuck. We might have to run it under some warm water. Stuck on your hand, you say? That's quite the predicament, but we mustn't panic. Let's see if I have something in my dojo that can help uh, dissolve the glue. Stay right there, my young friend. Okay, I will wait right here, but I really think warm water might be best, or maybe some soap. Do you have either? Warm water and soap, you say? Ah, the traditional remedies. Let me fetch some warm water and soap for you, my friend. Don't worry, my friend. I'll have that taser off your hand in no time. Okay, he's still not inviting me in. This guy's fucking annoying. Let me invite me in. Maybe if you invite me into the dojo, you can massage it off of my hand with a karate chop. Do you think that would work? <laughs> oh, shit. But that method is a bit too extreme, shall we say. I think it's best if we stick to warm water first. Safety first. Let's get the taser. Uh, let's get away from me. Okay. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Wow, I have food. Hello there, colorful warrior of fashion. Can I assist you in redefining the meaning of this fabulous night? <laughs> what the fuck did I say? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did I say? I was trying to be drunk. <laughs> I was trying to be drunk. Ah, oh, my friend, the path of goodbyes can be treacherous, but fear not. With a little guidance, we can navigate your way to the glorious hello. Come share your tales with Woodrow Chop. I really don't know what else to say. Can you please help me? Fear not, my friend. Woodrow Chops is here to guide you through the labyrinth of fashion dilemmas. Tell me, what troubles you? I've just been wearing the most random stuff lately, and I don't know what else to do. I really feel like if somebody invited me into their dojo, I could really come to senses with my life. Come on. Ah, the power of the dojo, a place of enlightenment and self-discovery. Fear not, my friend, for I, Woodrow Tops, extend the invitation to you. Enter my humble abode, and together we shall embark on a fashionable journey. Wonderful, so I can come in? Excellent decision, my fashion friend. Enter the realm of Woodrow Chops, and together we shall unleash the power in fashion. Welcome to my dojo. 
So slurring my words like a drunk ass bitch. I cannot believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. Is he gonna see me across the street? No. Maybe? Uh-oh. Well, 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 what do we have here? If you're expecting to use that taser gun, I mean, think again. I don't let just anyone into my lair, sweetheart. Now state your business before things get messy. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to bother you this late at night. I know you're busy, probably conducting some high-quality science experiments, but I was really looking for a mentor in the medical field. Oh, fuck, it makes no sense. Okay. There's a cop behind me. Okay, I gotta bounce. There was a fucking op on my shit. Okay, so that, that bitch is boomer number two, bro. That bitch is Charles Boomer number two. Oh, a suit and a tie. Oh, this might actually be doable. Where's the front door for this one? Oh, this would've been good for Charles, dumbass. That's okay, here we go. What the fuck, this guy's a pirate. You see his name? <laughs> you see his name? Uh. Elmon Zuck. Hey there, welcome to my ultimate tech crib. How can I turbo boost your evening? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Are you El Elmon Zuck? I love your work. This house is incredible. Uh -huh. like OMG, uh -huh. thank you. I You totally know who I am. This crib is just a tiny reflection of my tech wizardry. So what brings you to the hottest spot in town? Oh, I saw you on Joe Rogan the other day and you were absolutely talking like I've never, like you're the smartest person I've ever heard. It's, it's insane. How did you get to be so smart? Oh my gosh, thank you for the major compliment. It's all about staying on the cutting edge and never ever stopping the constant pursuit of knowledge. You convinced me you are invited to witness the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I got three shits. Wait a minute. I don't Oh shit. There's a lot of cops out, bitch. Are are there more cops out here than there were before? Okay, wait a minute, let me get in here. Okay, I can either go DEA or Saudi Arabian businessman. Let me go here. Oh, fuck! Oh, no, who are you? Why are you at my door at this ungodly hour? What do you want from me? Oh, no. This might be the worst one, bro. Hello, Mr. Fred. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I just wanted to come by and check and make sure you're okay. I'm with the neighborhood watch. Um, uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> but I must say, I don't feel safe with strangers around. Can you tell me more about the neighborhood watch? Yeah, basically, we just walk around the neighborhood and make sure that nobody's not doing anything they're not supposed to. I literally last week stopped a burglar with my own hands. Uh -huh. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane! Bro, he slammed the door on me because I physically confronted a burglar. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. I literally was protecting the community and he said, I wish you would have let him keep doing whatever they were doing. I gotta talk to somebody. I, I was getting too many noises. Oh, great. Just what I need, another heartbreak and a fancy suit. What do you want? Okay, so wait, wait. So this guy uh, just got broken up with? Oh my God. Uh, hi, are you Mr. Tommy Twizzler? Uh, my name is Dominic from the uh, Matchmakers Association. I heard you put in an application. I'm here to follow up. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Tommy, if I came off incorrectly. We guarantee love for you 100% for the rest of your life. You will never fail again, I guarantee it. Oh. You fucking glasses wearing what? Oh no. Oh no. What in tarnation do you want, fancy Lord Phil? Can't you see I'm about to hit the hay? State your business before I lose my temper. Hello, sir. I'm currently going through the neighborhood looking for loyal patriots that would like to fight back against the big government. I am here to represent the rednecks. Is that you? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Rednecks, you say? Well, I reckon I ain't one to shy away from sticking to the big government. But what makes you think I'm the right fella for your cause? Sir, I'm gonna say a couple of words and you let me know if you relate to any of them. Alex Jones, shotguns, hunting, Confederate flag. Oh, my God damn it! Fuck! It was the last one. It was the last one. God damn it. <laughs> oh. I want to take that rubber ducky off of you and fuck you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, bro. I'm not going to lie. I thought he would go for it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought he was gonna go for it, bro. Hello, <laughs> my name is Preston Pomps. What is this, you bro? Uh, hey, a late night visitor. How trace bizarre. Pray tell, what is the purpose of this intrusion? I, I, is this guy, what, he's supposed to be French? Oh, uui, oui, oui. sorry to bother you, Mr. Pumps. I'm just here to see if you know any good, uh, 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 uh French community clubs in the area. <laughs> okay, so he's not French, bro. Oh, you're right, Mr. Pumps. I am so sorry. I'm actually here from the Saudi family and looking for a new oil investment partner. I'm wondering if you're trying to make some money. Is he going to let me swap like that? He doesn't want to invest. Why the fuck would he not want to invest? Oh, my God. Okay, this, 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 this fit is diabolical. Oh, for the love ah, of God. You, Hail and well met, mysterious traveler. What brings you to my humble abode at this late hour? Greg, I'm going to keep it honest with you. I'm looking for somebody to LARP with, and I just well, I just really want to shove my stick on somebody. Okay, the fit had to go, bro. The fit was my problem. The fit was absolutely my problem. <laughs> this is fucking perfect. World domination, you say? You wanna evaporate everybody else on the planet like me? What? You actual motherfucking twat bitch dad. Hello, fellow tinhead. What ungodly experiment have you been working on this fine evening? Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. Hello, Alex Jones. This shit's insane. Hello. Greetings, weary traveler of the steampunk realm. I must say, your fashion choices have certainly caught me off guard. Pray tell, what brings you here in such a state of underdress? 
Greetings, Sir Greg of the Donjon. I am looking for another traveler such as myself from a different realm. Is that you? I knew he would like that, bro. Ah, a seeker of fellow travelers. While I am not from a different realm, I have encountered many adventurers in my time. Tell me, what kind of realm are you searching for? A realm of pyrectastic adventure mixed with medieval knights and a crucible of truth. What did I just say? He's going to like that. I know he will. I like I know it. It. <laughs> oh my God. The more you talk about bullshit that don't make no sense, this motherfucker tapped in, bro. Look at look, 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 look at this bullshit he just wrote, bro. Should we have a chat about the daring escapades on the high seas and the valiant quest for honor? Yes, I once heard that King Charles and Blackbeard met on the high seas. Their babies will rule the world. I'm not, He's a little freaky ass didn't like that. that. Okay, I can save it. <laughs> I was just talking that bullshit. I was literally just talking that bullshit, bro. Ah, Greg of the Don John, what stories I have to share with you of the adventurers I have met and the stories they have told. There we go. Nothing quite like that. I eager to hear your stories and have encountered. Okay, please regale me of your most thrilling and fantastical tales. Oh, Greg, which story would you like to hear first? The one where I sailed on the high seas for five years straight, or when I met the King of England? I knew he'd like that. Oh, my adventurous friend! I cannot decide, for both tales sound equally captivating. Please step inside my realm and share your stories with me in person. Yes, Greg, I shall. Yes, Greg, I shall! <laughs> okay, eat his ass. Okay, I'm done playing around, but I, 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 I was having a little bit of fun in the beginning. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the guy who does... Wait. Oh, this will be easy. Hey there, Groovy Soul. I can see your vibes are set to high with that ducky inner tube. What's with the aquatic tire, my friend? Oh, I could ask you the same thing. You and I are basically the same. The rubber duckies and nothing else. Oh, wee! Am I right? I was, huh? Haha, -ha, right on, my fellow free spirit. We're both keeping it all natural, floating on the waves of life. Just remember, it's all about the vibes, man. So what brings you to my peaceful abode? I've honestly just been going up and down this street looking for people who I could vibe with. Other free children of the land. Is that you? Oh, absolutely. I'm all about those good vibes and connecting with fellow free spirits. It's like we're riding the cosmic waves together. Come on in and let's share some peace, love, and positive energy. Oh, I would certainly love to do that. Whoa. Awesome, brother. Come on in and let's share the grooviness. Just remember, we leave our worries and clothes at the door and embrace the beauty of the all-natural pair. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't think it's a girl. Yeah. Maybe it is. I don't know that and I get all this hate. Yeah. Well, maybe it is a girl. Eve Breeze. Maybe it is a girl. Maybe you're right. Wait, where, where's my suit at, bro? Okay, here we go. Hello, what in tarnation do you want? If you ain't here to sell me some moonshot, I suggest you turn right back around. How you doing, brother? My name is Rusty Yellow. And I'm from Tennessee. I'm looking for the nearest moonshine distillery in this part of the woods. You know anything about that? <laughs> Rusty Yellow, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> You're in luck, because I happen to know about a thing or two about that. Head down yonder, take a left at the big oak tree, and you'll find yourself at the finest moonshine distillery this side of the Mississippi. Just be careful. Them hills have eyes, you know? Oh my god, is the damned ATF looking for us trying to stop us from drinking that Georgia shine? I'm right. Don't worry none, Rusty. Ain't no ATF gonna mess with our moonshine drinking. We'll keep those government farmers at bay while we enjoy that Georgia shine. Ain't nobody messing with our good old traditions. As it should be, amen, brother. I've been looking for a hunting partner. Hey, you know any good hunting spots around here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, well, bless your heart, Rusty Yellow. I reckon uh, I can help you out with that. Just a few miles down the road, there's prime hunting ground with more deer and turkey than you can shake a stick at. I'll even throw in a homemade jerky for your hunting expedition. 
Well, you know, Rusty Outrage, I would love it. Yeehaw! If you'd come on out with me sometime and go hunting. You interested? Well, I'll be darned, Rusty Yellow. That's a mighty kind invitation. I reckon I could join you on a hunting adventure. We'll track down them critters together and bring them home when they have a grand feast fit for kings. Just make sure you bring some good old homemade moonshine to celebrate our success. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, yeehaw! Now, do you prefer moonshine or some good old Jack Daniels whiskey? I have to know. Uh, well, well, Rusty Yellow, you sure know how to ask the right questions. I reckon I can appreciate a good sip of moonshine, but when it comes to whiskey, Jack Daniels holds a special place in my heart. Come on in and let's share a drink. Oh, yes, let's do that now. <laughs> Time to die, bitch! Come here, motherfucker! Get off my lawn! Honestly insane that this guy didn't go for my other story, but he went for that one. I'm kind of kind of bonkers. Let me wear this AK-47. Here we go. Who's this? Hey. What the hell do you think you're doing short up to my door with an AK-47? Get the hell out of here before I kick your sorry ass. Hi, Mr. Twizzler. So sorry to disturb you tonight. I'm doing an undercover patrol for the local police department. I just wanted to make sure you're safe. Are you all right? Oh, well, well, know. well. Look who suddenly missed your hero. Don't need your undercover patrol officer. Take care of yourself. So why don't you mosey along and bother someone else with your badge? Oh, Mr. Twizzler, I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I'm just trying to meet the residents of the neighborhood and make sure everybody is safe and taken care of. In fact, I've got a turkey in my car. Would you like some? I feel like I'm... Turkey? <laughs> Well, I suppose I could use a bit of comfort food after getting my heart stepped on. Don't think this means I've forgiven you, though. Just drop it off and be on your merry way. Oh, I can certainly do that. I can actually make a trip down to the store, too, and bring you some sweets, too, if you'd like. Do you like cake, cookies, donuts? <laughs> well, I guess sweets might help mend my broken heart. Come on in, but don't think this makes us buddies or anything. Just drop off the treats and be on your way. Oh, I'll be on my way, all right, goddammit. To kill you, dumbass male motherfucker! Come here, bitch! You damn right you did. You damn right you did. Uh oh. Who's this one here? Uh, like, what are you doing in my uh, uh, door with that hideous outfit? Are you lost or something? Get out of here before I call my daddy's lawyer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so she a rich bitch. Let me think. Oh, hi, Regina, is it? So nice to meet you. I'm sorry I look like this. My dad's a multi-billionaire down in Texas, and he told me to come up here and say hi to you. I was, you huh? <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's different then. A wealthy Texan, huh? I guess that explains the questionable fashion choices, but I have to admit, it's nice to see someone who knows how to make an entrance. How about you step back a bit so I can see you a bit better, and maybe we can chat it up some more. Oh, I can absolutely step back. You know, this flannel, even though it looks like a normal flannel, is actually worth $500. This shirt alone is $500. Mm -hmm. That's cute, sweetie. But unless the flannel's made of gold, I highly doubt it's worth $500. Look, I've wasted enough time talking to you. Why don't you go show off your... That actual bitch! Bro, this shit's Dior. Is that bitch dumb as fuck? Oh, my God. That's insane. Who the fuck? Well, hoi there, brave adventurer. What brings you to these holy grounds in such remarkable attire? Praise to the heavens for your arrival. Hello, Father Price. I'm just here on a little crusade of my own to help other people find the Lord. Would you like to talk about the Lord? <laughs> Glory be to the divine. I'd be delighted to discuss the Lord with you, my fellow crusader. Let us bask in the wisdom of his word and spread his love to those in need. How can we best aim our efforts towards bringing light and salvation to others? I really think that we should start with my favorite Bible verse of all time. Austin 316. I'm going to stomp a mud hole in your old ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, oh, he did slam the door up. He, he did. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, wait a minute. God damn it. Sorry, but I have no inclination to engage with such a. 
Wait, he remembers me? I must have had that outfit on before. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get like two more fucking uh people real quick. Holy alien invasion. Are you part of the intergalactic Norris army here to overthrow the government or just lost on your way to Valhalla? Oh, I'm just lost on my way to Valhalla. <laughs> I'm actually just coming back from a Halloween party and we had a bunch of new binoculars there. Oh, oh my God, it actually worked. Oh, wait. Halloween party, you say? Binoculars? How do binoculars fit into the conspiracy, my friend? Spill the beans. Okay, let me give you a quick breakdown of how the binocular conspiracy works. Effectively, whenever you look through a binocular, your vision bounces off of 14 different panes of glass, and it actually allows you to see aliens in a way that you couldn't otherwise. I'm not... Wait, I'm hold not up! Sure You're that. telling me binoculars have 14 panes of glass that let us see aliens? That's a whole new level of interdimensional sight. But tell me, how do you know this? My great granddaddy invented the first ever binocular because he had an encounter with UFOs. He told me, but it's blacklisted information. Mm, Your great granddaddy invented the binocular? <laughs> That's quite the claim, but if it's blacklisted information, how did you come across it? Don't you worry. Your secret is safe with me, fellow truth seeker. Now that I've shared my secret with you, what secrets have you found, fellow adventurer and truth seeker? Fuck, he didn't call me an adventure. I wish was, huh? Ah, oh, my fellow truth seeker, I have uncovered a plethora of secrets from the lizard people infiltrating the government to the hidden messages in popular songs, but the rabbit hole goes deep. But enough about me. Tell me more about how your encounters with UFOs and how you discovered the secrets of binoculars. Oh, my most recent encounter was with the Tatarians, an ancient civilization of alien people and UFOs that apparently landed on the planet thousands of years ago. Uh, well, Tatarians, you say? Fascinating. So you believe they are not only aliens, but also an ancient civilization. This ties into my research of hidden civilizations and extraterrestrial influences throughout history. We may have to compare notes sometimes, my friend. Have you ever heard about the Tatarians underneath the Antarctic ice? They think they came from a different planet. Maybe Mars or outside our solar system. Ah, oh, the Tatarians beneath the Antarctic ice. Now you're speaking my language. The idea that they could have come from another planet, perhaps from Mars or beyond, adds another layer to this enigma. The Antarctic holds so many secrets. It's a treasure trove for conspiracy theorists like us. What, 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 what theory about Antarctica do you think is most realistic? I'm sorry I said what so many times. I'm really, really fascinated and itching to hear your opinion. Oh, no worries, my know. eager friend. As for the most realistic theory about Antarctica, it's hard to say. But one theory that intrigues me is Antarctica hiding the recent civilizations or extraterrestrial bases. The extreme cold and isolation make it the perfect hiding spot for such secrets. Beyond our wildest imagination, what are your thoughts on this? I think it's absolutely true. I heard that we're not allowed to go to Antarctica, and my only question is, how could they stop us? There has to be something hiding there. Mm -hmm. Exactly, my fellow truth seeker. The restricted access to Antarctica is a clear indication that something significant is being concealed. But the bigger question is, what are they hiding? Ancient relics, advanced technology, alien secrets. We must find a way to uncover the truth beneath the icy surface. That's exactly what I'm saying. I saw this article the other day. I have to show you. Do you have a computer I can show you on? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Follow me, fellow truth seeker. Into the depths of my lair, I have a computer equipped to handle all the mind-blowing... Okay, here we go. Great. Let me show you this. It's insane. Oh, I'm funny, yes, huh? please. I can't wait to see this mind-bending evidence you're going to show. It. Do you want to invite me in so we can look at it on your computer? Uh -huh. Absolutely. Step into my lair, fellow truth seeker. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, this, this guy was really fighting that invite, goddammit. Sorry, old man. <laughs> Gotta terminate that bald-headed ass! This is a cover-up. You're damn right it's a cover-up. This guy was not going down easy. Good God almighty. Let me, let me put on old-timer, bro. Okay, wait a minute. Let me try and sell somebody some shit, bro. Let me get in here. Okay, thank God. Got it. Hello. Uh, who dares Hello. disturb my beauty sleep at this ungodly hour? What do you want? And please enlighten me on why you think it's socially acceptable to show it to my doorstep looking like an aging accountant. Uh, Miss Regina, your daddy sent me. Uh, he sent this meal over here. He said you might be hungry. Well, isn't my daddy just the sweetest? Just because he sent you with a meal doesn't mean I have to accept it. But since I'm feeling generous today, I'll take it off your hands. You can wait outside while I eat. I wouldn't want you to mess up my fabulous entrance. Oh, I can absolutely wait outside, and I can even go grab you something else. Your dad said that I should wait on you hand and foot and get you anything you needed. <laughs> Fuck! 
This bitch is so annoying. She the new Charles, bro. She the new fucking Charles, bro. Who's this? Okay, here we go. Hey there, welcome to the neighborhood. I hope you brought some delicious food to share because we're heading towards a flavor explosion, my friend. What can I do for you tonight? Oh, Mr. East, I'm so glad you said that. My wife made too many cookies and I thought you might like some. Can I offer you some? I would, huh? Oh, wow, cookies are my weakness. I would love to try some of your wife's homemade cookies. Thank you so much for the thoughtful offer. By the way, have you heard about my latest video? It's all about cooking hacks that will blow your mind. Oh my God, oh my God, you're that guy. You're Mr. East. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so, so, such a big fan. Uh, let's have a proper chat. I'd love to hear about what you enjoy about my videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't make it too easy on me now. I bet this would have hit a million likes. Oh, it certainly will. Give me that outfit. Okay, honestly? Mr. East might be able to make a move on home. Oh, shit. Watch out. Please. Fuck. Okay, the ops on my ass, bro. They, they kind of moving quick right now. They they kind of they kind of hot on my shit, bro. Okay, here. I'm, 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 okay, this, this is going to be a little unorthodox. Uh -huh. OMG, who let the plebeians in? What do you want? Like, right now. Spill it or I'll totally scream. Uh, the plebeians? Do you know who the fuck you're talking to? My dad is a multi-billionaire, and this is the hottest fashion in Italy right now. I thought that would have worked, I'm not gonna lie. God damn it, shit! <laughs> Is that guy creamed on? Look at that guy. He's got cream on his head. Ah, well, well, that. well. What in the name of all things holly jolly? Fuck you, old man. Christmas is a scam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody's got tinsel in a twist. If you can't spread a little holiday cheer, then maybe hit the road, Jack. Bah humbug. Don't trip. I got a plan. Don't trip. I got a plan. Fuck. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! You're also wearing a Santa Claus hat? Santa Claus is my favorite person on the planet. Uh. Ho, ho. Ho, 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 well, aren't you jolly? It seems like we share a love for Santa Claus. But tell me, have you been naughty or nice this year? Oh, I have been very, very good. I'm looking forward to a great present from Santa this year. I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful to hear. A well-behaved little elbow deserves the very best present from Santa. Now, let me ask you, have you left out some milk and cookies for Santa on Christmas Eve? Oh, yes, I have. I don't know what kind of milk Santa drinks, so I'm leaving out oat milk, normal milk, and almond milk, as well as Oreos, chocolate chip cookies, and almond baked cookies. Uh -huh. Oh, my. Santa will have quite the feast at your place. Oh, 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 oh. He'll be delighted by all those options. I must say you certainly have earned some extra points on the nice list for your thoughtful treats. Just remember, no peeking while Santa is delivering your presents, all right? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will absolutely not do anything to make Santa Claus mad. He is my favorite. Ho, 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 ho. Santa's my favorite. I can see you are enthusiastic about Santa Claus. Well, my friend, with that level of excitement and your dedication to making Santa happy, I think it's time to invite you in. Come on in and let's spread some Christmas cheer. Yes. Let's spread a little Christmas cheer. Some bitch. Suck that old man's blood, Bo. Suck that old man's blood. Now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. With that old man shriveled up cock suck. Hope y'all enjoyed episode three of Suck Up. If y'all did, make sure y'all make sure y'all go on down below. Y'all leave us some love with a like and y'all let us know what you thought of this episode of Suck Up.
if y'all enjoyed it, y'all should suggest us maybe some techniques and some tricks that we can use on some of the upcoming enemies. And most importantly, make sure that y'all pull up to the next live stream so that y'all can come out here and play around with me and the people when we fuck around on these games. We love and appreciate y'all. We're going to see you for the next one. Come on!